Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now we have finally got another Save the World home base status report and we are going to be going over this. Whilst my Fortnite spends its next whole day downloading the update, we can actually look forward to what's being updated. Tasty, tasty. Okay, right, well the Fortnite team has given us some fresh news here on the 5th of January, February, March, April. I forgot the month, but don't mind me. Alright, let's get through this, shall we? Ahoy, Commanders! We have loaded status reports sailing in, so let's get right to it. I like that. Home base status report initiate. Alright, so we are seeing a return of the Scurvy Shoals. So Scurvy Shoals returns with a new modifier on April 5th, 8pm ET. I don't know what that is, Eastern Time. The Scurvy Shoals is back along with the Treasure Field Pirate Llamas. This high sea venture is going to feel a little different this time around as it will introduce a new modifier and bring back a returning one. Bouncy Husk, oh Jesus. Things will get quite turbulent with the new Bouncy Husks modifier. With this modifier, Husks, Huskies and Mr. Monsters will have all increased health, but they're all more susceptible to knockbacks, ooh, especially from ranged and melee weapons. Send those Husks back into the storm that they came from. I wonder how mental this is going to be. They're going to have increased health, but they're going to be absolutely slapped by pure impact. So if you get an impact weapon, you know, maybe from a crow early on, we, I think someone was saying in my comments that crows could be a freaking meta to get in some early level weapons and ventures. Hopefully so. And super treasure. Time to start looking like a real pirate. Arr. With... The <laughs> With the Super Treasure modifier, treasure chests filled with the valuable loot will periodically drop after defeating enemies. Ooh, that's interesting. Keep in mind, Commanders, the tougher the enemy you defeat, the more likely a chest will drop from it. Great enemies mean great rewards. That sounds pretty tasty. With the addition of Bouncy Husk modifiers, the Super Husk modifier has been removed from the Scurvy Shoals. Okay, Super... I don't even know what the Super Husk modifier was, but maybe you can let me know in the comments down below. Rosie has had a buff. Rosie has been upgraded. It's here, Commanders. The long-awaited Rosie has shipped to home base near you. Now let's throw it to our expert weaponsmith. Clip to get a detailed look at what Rosie has now to offer. So Rosie is the uh, machine gun, right? Um, the, not the, you know, the turret. Am I wrong? Am I right? Hey, Commander. Sorry for the long wait on this upgrade. We really wanted to make sure that we got Rosie working just right for our hard-working constructors. Let's run down all the changes that have come to Rosie. No more overheating. Oh, okay, I like the sound of that. Commanders are now free to fire away with Rosie as our technological advancements have allowed us to bypass the troubles of overheating. Now that overheating is no longer an issue, the cold lead perk will now allow Rosie to hold 20% more ammo. Ooh, does that mean that there's not going to be there's not going to be that like beep 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 beep? You know, that really annoying sound that it always makes when you're getting a little bit low on ammo. Because that thing, I hope they removed it. I bet they didn't. I bet they left that in there. They absolutely barbarians. Better from a distance. The damage fall off to enemies at a distance has been greatly reduced, adding more combative versatility to Rosie. Okay, I like that. You know, just better distance, more damage. We like to see that. Quicker activations. After initial use, it would take commanders quite a while to be able to summon Rosie again. This issue will be reduced as Rosie calls down, as the Rosie cooldown has been decreased by 33%. A third. So it's gone from like, what, I think it was maybe like three minutes, two and a half minutes, to now like one and a half to two minutes. That's pretty... Oh my goodness, that's pretty savage actually. A new shield. One weakness of using Rosie is that it would leave operators vulnerable to ranged attacks. Well, their security has now been improved with a new anti-projectile shield that will form around the Rosie whenever it is deployed. Yo, that sounds sick. That, oh my god, we're gonna have a meta, oh my goodness, we're gonna have to do a meta build with the Rosie, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you want to see me use an absolutely meta Rosie build. I will show you what it will do. Commanders will have the option to sacrifice the shield which would trigger a large knockback. This is especially uh, this is especially useful when hordes of melee husks get a bit too close to the turret. Finally, because you know what really annoyed me? The fact that the turret was like this high, right? And the husk could be here and you're like, doo, 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 and it's just like slapping your legs, slapping your knees, taking down your HP slowly but surely. That thing kept annoying me. Fortnite saved the world, dungeons are back. Our boy Beast had already told us that this was going to be the case. He's got that like meta mind, Elon Musk sort of thought process. And uh, they have returned. So 
It's madness season again. Fight monsters, dodge traps, gear up and descend into the depths and confront the raging evil below. They say there are weapons and heroes to recruit along the way. Magical keys, a deep and dark labyrinth, golden coins, coins. sounds like it's time to do some exploring. Complete dungeons to unlock heroes, a loading screen and more. In case you missed out on it last time dungeons were around, be sure to check out the newest dungeon, The Lab. Oh yeah, wait, was that the one where they added the um, Jekyll and Hyde? I believe so, I believe we did go over that. Completing the lab dungeon will unlock a banner as well as the Chaos Agent Hero. Ooh, check out heroes that can be earned from braving through the dungeon, so we can get Swamp Knight. Alright, so his standard perk is Unearthly Tree. Increase the damage versus miss monsters by up to 42% based on the percentage of your missing health. Command the perk, Unearthly Treat Plus, you get the premium version. Increased damage versus miss monsters up to 42% based on the percentage of mission health. In addition to taking damage, has a 45% to conjure a phantasm. I think I said that right. <laughs> a phantom. Targets a nearby enemy dealing 62 base energy damage in a half a tile radius with a 1.5 second cooldown. Okay. Fortnite saved the world, Mer Monster Ken, Mer Monster Ken, out of the lake and into the fray, okay. Standard perk from the depth, increase melee damage by 44% based on missing health, and then it's Commander Perk Pro, increase the melee, melee damage 44% based on your missing health. Additionally, melee heavy attack eliminations have a 60% chance to conjure a phasm, a phantasm, an orgasm, whatever you want to call it. Target a nearby enemy dealing 62 base energy damage in half a tile radius with 1.5 cooldown. Alright, and here we go, Chaos Agent. Okay, well, who is this geezer? My greatest strength, I strive in chaotic environments. Now that is a good strength to have. When you can be calm when stuff is chaotic, you're, you're the one that wants to take charge. Alright, standard perk is Quick Fingers. Whenever you use any ability, Quick Fingers will reload your equipped weapon, if it can be reloaded. Commander Perk Plus is whenever you use an ability, you reload the weapon, and when you reload a weapon this way, you have a chance to summon a phantasm based on how empty the clip was with a cap of 80%. April 5th, start plundering in Yar's questline. The Yar questline is back, ladies and gents. A black flag has emerged in the horizon. I have to admit, this uh, quest line is really funny. It's worth sticking on the dialogue for this one. I think the people that done this, they got a really good team together. And it, it made me laugh quite a lot when I originally played through it. So yeah. Black flag has emerged in the horizon. That, only, can, that can only mean one thing. Pirates are here and they are aiming to crash right into the beloved home base. Fend off these invading swashbucklers and you will be rewarded with the infamous pirate... Blakebeard the Black Hearted, that's this geezer here. Blakebeard the Black Hearted, he has a standard perk of Evast Mates, which increases your cannonball damage by 20%, and uh, his commander perk increases your cannonball damage by 40% and converts Rosie to 25 cannonballs. Oh, Mamacita, do we want to see me use a Rosie with the Blakebeard? With that additional 40%, the damage fall off fix and just absolute no cooldown, no burnout is just going to be, oh, this is filthy, this is filthy, what a beautiful sight to see. Coming April 10th, Cotton Tail, Eagle Eye and Rabbit Raider Jonesy are hitting the store, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I can't wait to get him. For Cottontail Eagle Eye, you're going to get Un-Eggs Protected Departure. When you phase shift, you're going to leave three eggs, which deal 18 base damage to nearby targets. If she is your hero, then the perk will be leaving three eggs, and it will deal 55 base damage to nearby enemies. But the big boy, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, Okay, his standard perk is Sure Shot, so it increases sniper critical damage by 75%. That means your bow and arrows do an extra 75% damage on criticals. And then the Commander perk increases the sniper critical damage by 225%. He's a must-have. You must get this hero. Get him. Use your goal, get Rabbit Raider Jonesy. April 10th, you've got five days to save up, so go for it. April the 17th. Dash and Hair Ken and the Egg Launcher are going to spring into the event store. The Egg Launcher is coming back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Dashing Hair Ken's standard perk is Kunai Storm throw three egg bombs, which deal 37 base damage. His prime, if you use him as a commander, is three egg bombs, but deal 111 base damage to nearby enemies. The Fortnite Easter World 
<laughs> Fortnite Easter World, Fortnite Save the World Easter Egg Launcher. The colourful launcher lobs eggs at the husks that explode on contact, strategically place the eggs to create festive landmines. A maximum of six eggs can be festive, uh, can be active at once. Oh my goodness, the, the absolute speaking ability here, ladies and gentlemen. So that means you can shoot them at the floor and they will literally stay there until a husk walks on it, then they will explode. So you can literally create landmines. I wonder, I don't know if you shoot them and then change weapon if they stay there. I think they would, but obviously you can have a maximum of up to six. So don't lay six and then start shooting them at the husks because the ones you've laid will despawn. So I couldn't find any news on the adventure rewards. I guess we'll hear about that a little bit later. Maybe Beast will let us know. But uh, yeah, I didn't hear anything about the SSD fix either. So hopefully they fix that. I imagine they would have with the update. I imagine that's why this is freaking two and a half gigabytes, which is going to take me... At this rate, 0, 0, 0, probably the rest of my life, so sad, RIP Aiden. But um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, let me know if you want that rosy video, tint mini series coming through with the ventures, we're going to get a weapon voucher, get the Xenon bow, get a, we're going to save up for Rabbit Raider Ken, oh my, Rabbit Raider Ken, Rabbit Raider Jonesy, we're going to go ham sandwich, but remember to meditate, exercise, look after yourselves, and I will see you later today, adios.